This video will show you how to use Press Reader on your computer. Press Reader is a digital newspaper and magazine distributor. It's a platform containing thousands of newspapers and magazines in different languages from all around the world. On Press Reader, you can read the news, compare multiple sources on a story, and get all your favorite magazines on a range of interests. To start, go to the library page on the Moreland City Council website. Under Library Services, select e-newspapers and e-magazines. Click Press Reader. To sign in, go to the top right-hand corner and click Sign In. Select Library or Group. Search for Moreland and you'll see Moreland City Libraries appears. As with other e-library services, you'll then need to type in your library card number and your PIN, which is your full date of birth, is six digits. There are checkboxes below that you can uncheck if required. However, you'll need to agree to the press reader's terms of use, privacy policy and software license agreement before logging in. If you'd like to read these agreements, click on the green highlighted text. Afterwards, click Sign In. At this point, you might have a few prompts pop up on your screen. If a welcome message from Press Reader appears, you can click Select Publication to begin searching. You may be asked to create a new user account. This is optional. To create a new user account, enter an email address, password and your first and last name. If you don't want to do this, select Cancel and you can still use Press Reader without having to create a user account. This page shows me the featured titles in newspapers and magazines and a variety of ways to search Press Reader. I can search newspapers, magazines or Australian publications. In the left hand bar, I can search by categories. If I scroll down in this bar, more categories appear. By selecting a category, I can see all the titles available by scrolling left. To go back at any point, select the back arrow icon in the top left hand corner. As an example, I select crafts and hobbies and a selection of magazine titles appear. If I click on one of the titles, like Sky at Night, it shows me recent issues and the most recent one will appear on the left hand side. To click this, click Read Now. There is a calendar here which also shows the date of publication in green and today's date, so I can see how recent this publication is. There are several ways to read the magazine once you've opened it up. The first way is scrolling through the pages using the contents bar on the bottom. You can also view pages as laid out in the magazine or in text view, making it easier to read. To change to text view, click the icon in the bottom left hand corner. By clicking the green arrow at the bottom of a text view article, you can expand areas of text and choose functions like listen, allowing you to listen to articles instead of reading them. Using Press Reader on a computer can take a bit of getting used to, and you'll soon find the view that works best for you. To find publications in different languages from different countries, click Countries and a list will appear. Scroll down to select your country of choice. Available publications will be sorted into categories. Click through, just as before, to get reading. You can change language by clicking on the three dots at the top left hand corner and selecting interface language. For example, I've changed to Italian now and I can search through countries to find Italian publications. To switch back to English at any point, click on the three dots in the top left hand corner again and select interface language and change back to English. Press Reader also organises publications in the Home Feed view. Access this by clicking on the three bars in the top left hand corner. The News Feed function selects stories from different publications around the world into sections, such as Top Stories, Business, Sports, Entertainment, 
etc. This is a great place to get multiple perspectives on a news story from trusted news outlets. Press Reader does take a bit of getting used to, but you'll soon find all your favourite publications and hopefully enjoy this great resource made available through Moreland City Libraries.